Hi, in this lesson we're going to learn about using the accelerometer to measure angles. And we're going to illustrate a few concepts about um, geometry using cosine and sine. Um, and then we're going to do an experiment where we use the accelerometer to calculate the angle of a ramp. So it's going to be very important for us to remember uh, our axes um, on our device, on our sensor. So uh, if you haven't checked out the other videos on the accelerometer and talking, discussing how the axes are set up um, and why we have three values uh, to represent acceleration, check those videos out. So what we're going to do is um, we want to measure how acceleration um, changes as we put pocket lab onto a ramp and change the angle. And we're going to need to illustrate a few um, concepts of geometry uh, to be able to understand what's going on. So I'm going to click out of the video screen for a second and we're going to draw what's happening um, in our uh, experiment. On the left side of the screen you can see pocket lab uh, with all the, the sensors uh, sending data right now. So uh, you can ignore that for a second while I set up our experiment. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a ramp. And on this ramp, um, we're going to change the angle. And we're going to call this angle theta. And that's just a Greek letter that we commonly use to represent angles. And on this ramp, we are going to place uh, our sensor. And then we're going to uh, monitor the data from our uh, accelerometer, our acceleration signal. And it's going to be very important for us to, again, orient the axes in a way that is easy for us to understand. So to make the math easy, uh, we're going to consider uh, the y-axis uh, pointing down and the x-axis pointing to the left. So what's that going to look like in our data? So if you remember our y-axis is this blue, um, our x-axis is this uh, red arrow. And so our sensor is going to be oriented like this. And that might seem a little counterintuitive because um, our y is going down and we're used to our y going up. But you'll see this will make the math a little bit easier and we don't have to deal with negative values. So this this will be um, easier to do our experiment. So what's going to happen is we're going to place our um, our pocket lab sensor onto our ramp um, like this. So our, our axes are oriented like so. And then as we change the angle of the ramp, we're going to have rotation um, in this direction. So what's that going to look like? So we're going to change this angle theta and our ramp is going to go from being very flat to being um, to have an increasing angle. And what can we do um, with this? Well, one thing we need to consider is the direction of gravity. And gravity um, is this acceleration that all objects feel. And that's always pointed towards the Earth, um, so down. As we rotate our uh, sensor and change its position relative to gravity, we'll see that the acceleration um, in one axis, our y-axis, will change. Um, and decrease, and it will increase in our x-axis. And then, um, so let's, let's just take a look at um, how this works, and then we can get into more quantitative details. Okay. So, I have here my ramp, and so I will be just manually increasing and decreasing the acceleration. And then I have my pocket lab sensor, and again, I'm going to orient it, my axes so that uh, my x and y axis are pointed down. Uh, and this will make, like I said, the math easier. And we don't have to deal with negative numbers. So I'm, I've got a little piece of tape on here. So 
to keep my sensor from sliding around. And then I'm going to um, open up the accelerometer graph. And I have my axes here again. And let's explain what we're seeing. So um, our x and y axis, they're about uh, zero, about zero g. So we, um, and then our y axis um, is experiencing one g of acceleration. So what this means is our gravity vector is pointed in the y direction, and we don't have any components of gravity in the x or the z. Um, so he's pointed backwards. So when we begin to rotate our ramp, we'll see that our gravity vector will no longer be completely aligned with our y-axis. And we'll start to see um, the, y, the acceleration, the y-axis decrease as we rotate. And our component of gravity in the x direction to increase as that begins to be oriented down. Our z-axis, which is the axis that we're rotating about, shouldn't change at all. So you might see a little change because the sensor isn't exactly lined up um, perfectly, but it shouldn't be anything significant. So I will you can see the axes rotate into the screen in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to rotate my ramp up. And as you can see, my x value, oops, lost my axis, is quickly increasing. And my y value is slowly decreasing as I change the angle. And I rotate back down. And my y value should return to 1g of acceleration. And my x value should return to 0g. So let's try that again. So if I hold it, and if I can keep my hand steady, we should see constant value for x and y. And as I rotate that down, go back to zero. Okay. So to understand what's happening, we need a little uh, math and geometry. So this angle theta here is what we're calling um, the angle of the ramp when I rotated it. Um, this angle here, uh, theta, is also by geometry equal to that angle right there. So we'll also call that theta. Uh, I won't go into the geometry for how you can calculate that angle, um, but uh, you can investigate that further if you'd like. So uh, using the principles of uh, geometry, if we know uh, this uh, acceleration, so g, that we're experimenting, we're experiencing from gravity, we can calculate um, what portion of that is aligned with my y-axis and with my x-axis. And uh, I won't go through the proof of how you calculate that, but uh, just for um, just for the sake of this experiment, um, I'll tell you that our uh, the component of acceleration and the y-axis is equal to um, our gravity vector, g, um, times the cosine of theta. We can also use uh, our angle to calculate the, uh, the value of x. And again, I'll save the proof and, and the geometry uh, for you to do on your own. But I can tell you that x is equal to our gravity um, times sine of theta. So with just knowing uh, one value, this uh, angle theta, we can calculate what do we expect to see in our x-axis and our y-axis. 
And so how can we test that theory or um, test our um, calculations? So uh, if you're setting up an experiment, um, what you can do is you can have uh, a ramp like this, and you can take a protractor or um, and measure uh, this angle between your ramp and the horizontal surface that you're on. And then using a calculator uh, or doing it by hand, you can you can calculate what um, the you can calculate the cosine of this angle and the sine of this angle, and you can calculate uh, what you what values you should read from the sensor. Alternatively, you can if you have a ruler uh, and you know where um, if you know either the length of the ramp or um, the placement of the sensor, you can you can measure um, one of you can measure two of the legs of the triangle that we're forming. So you can measure um, either this horizontal surface and project it, um, sort of make a triangle out of it, or you can measure this this vertical surface, and then you can directly calculate cosine and, and sine from from those values. So I won't go into details about how you do that, but uh, let's very very quickly um, check our calculations. So. Uh, Let's go back to our equations, and we know that um, our x value is equal to gravity times sine of theta. And here's an easy one to do: sine of uh, 30 degrees is one half. So uh, our sensor is already measuring in g's. So what we should expect to see is when we raise this angle here to 30 degrees. We expect that uh, our x would be equal to one half g, and since our units for our accelerometer are already in g, we should just see a value of 0 0.5 because we're um, we're get we're getting a decimal output. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's just try to approximate a 30 degree angle, and this isn't exact, but we can see the output from our x-axis increase, and then once we've reached about 0 0.5, we can take a look at this angle, and what do you think? Is that a 30 degree angle between my ramp and the horizontal? pretty close because I'd say this this is about a 45 degree angle so I'm guessing yeah about 30 degrees and hey we're getting 0 0.5 from our uh, x-axis so that's a way that you can learn about how acceleration um, can be measured with our accelerometer uh, and how the components of um, acceleration due to gravity uh, change as we uh, rotate a ramp through, through different angles. So come back and look for more videos as we illustrate some other science concepts and how you can use Pocket Lab to gain insight um, into what's going on. Thanks.